Dividing by a monomial is fairly easy, but before we look at some examples, let's review the exponent rules. So rule one is x to the a power times x to the b power is x to the a plus b power. And that would be something like maybe if we had x to the sixth power times x to the second power, this is the same thing as x to the six plus two power, which would be x to the eighth power. Next rule says that x to the a power, and then that raised to the b power, is x to the a times b power. So that would be something like if we had x to the third power, and then we had that raised to the second power, that would be the same thing as x to the three times two power, which would be x to the sixth power. Three times two is six. Now we have rule three x to the a power divided by x to the b power is x to the a minus b power. So that would say something like this. If we had x to the fifth divided by x to the third, this is the same thing as x to the five minus three. You can think of top minus bottom. And then that would be x, five minus three is two, so x squared. When we're using uh, division here, looking at division, this is the rule that you're gonna be using most often. So that's the, a good one to know. So let's look at an easy example. Suppose we have four x cubed divided by two x. So when you want to simplify something like this, we wanna look at the uh, terms that are alike. So we have constant terms here. We have four divided by two. Well, four divided by two is two. So I can write that with a two. And then I have x cubed divided by x, and you can think of this as x to the first power. Well, that's gonna be x to the three minus one power. That's by this rule three right here. And that's gonna be two x squared. Three minus one is two. Let's look at another example. Suppose we wanna divide nine a to the fifth b squared c cubed by negative three, a to the fourth, b squared, and c. So this is one monomial divided by another monomial. Whenever we have something divided by something, this is the numerator and this is the denominator in our uh, division. So in this case, we have nine, a to the fifth, b squared, c cubed, and then all that is gonna be divided by negative three, a to the fourth, b squared c. So the first thing we're gonna do is look for like terms and we see a nine and a three, a negative three actually. Nine divided by negative three is negative three. So I can write that as negative three. And then we have a to the fifth divided by a to the fourth. So that's gonna be a to the five minus four, top minus bottom. Five minus four is one, so that's a to the first power. And we don't usually write the one, so just leave that as a. Then we have b squared and b squared. Well, if you ever have the same thing, top and bottom, those are always gonna cancel each other out. And if you think about it, this would be the same thing as b to the two minus two, or b to the zero power, and anything to the zero power is one. So those we can just kind of ignore. Now we have c to the third, and c, this is really to the first power here. So that's gonna be c to the three minus one power. 3 minus 1 is 2, so this is negative 3ac squared. What if we want to divide a polynomial by a monomial? So something like this. Divide 8x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x by 2x. So again, the first thing here is the numerator. The second thing is the denominator, so I can write this out. So I have, in this case, 8 x to the fourth minus two x cubed plus two x squared plus four x, and then all of this is divided by two x. Okay, so in this case, uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to break this apart. So think about adding fractions. If you add, say, one fifth plus two fifths, you write, rewrite this as one plus two over five. You have a common denominator. Well, now imagine going 
back in this direction. If I have something with a common denominator, I could break it up into individual fractions. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I have one denominator here and then a whole bunch of terms on top. So I'm going to break it apart. So this will look like 8x to the fourth over 2x minus 2x cubed over 2x plus 2x squared over 2x plus 4x over 2x. So you see what I did? I just took this denominator here and kind of, in a sense, distributed it, uh, broke it apart, just like you would here going in reverse. Now I can look at each of these individually. So 8 divided by 2, that's 4. x to the 4th divided by x, that's 4 minus 1, that's going to be x to the 3rd. And then 2 and 2 is 1, so that's just going to be a 1 here. I won't write the 1. And then I have x to the 3rd, and then I have x to the 1st. 3 minus 1, that's 2. Here again, I have a 2 and a 2, so that's just going to be a 1. I won't write the 1. And then I have x squared and x to the 1st. 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's x to the 1st power. I'm not going to write the 1 there. And then lastly, I have a 4 divided by 2, that's 2. And then x divided by x. So remember, when you have the same thing, top and bottom, the same term here, those you can just forget about. Those are going to go away, and so I just have a 2. Let's look at one more example. Divide 6a cubed b squared plus 15ab squared minus 3a squared b to the fourth by 3ab squared. So first, let's write it out as a fraction. So I have 6a cubed b squared plus 15ab squared minus 3a squared b to the fourth. And all of that is going to be divided by 3ab squared. And now I'm going to break it apart just like I did before. So I have 6a cubed b squared over 3ab squared plus, and then I'm going to have 15ab squared over 3ab squared. And then the last term, I have a 3a squared b to the fourth over 3ab squared. And now I look at each of these individually. So first I have 6 divided by 3, that's going to be 2. I have a to the third and an a, so 3 minus 1 is 2, so that's going to be an a squared. And then the b squareds, remember, we have the same thing, top and bottom. You can just forget about them. Those are going to go away. Next term I have 15 divided by 3, that's 5. a's go away and the b squareds go away. So I just have a 5 here. That's it for this term. Last one, so we have a negative sign, a 3 and a 3. Those are the same, so they're going to go away. a squared and a, that's going to be 2 minus 1, which is going to be 1. So it's a to the first power. I'm not going to write the 1. And then I have b to the fourth, b to the second. 4 minus 2 is 2, so I have b squared. So I get 2a squared plus 5 minus ab squared.